Hi, modern fashion designers. You're welcome back to class. This is Modern Woman Apparel. I want to specially thank all my subscribers and also my viewers, those of you who have taken time to like and comment on my content. I'm really, really grateful. Thank you all so much. So in today's class, we'll be doing the part two of this um pattern here of this class here. In the part one of this video, we did the drafting of this um bust here here of this shoulder that bust here so if you want to know if you're just joining us and you want to know how we drafted this pattern the link to the part one of this video is on the comment section and you can also find it on the description box so guys in this class we'll be learning how to transfer this pattern to fabric how to cut out the volume of the wording needed for this um for the padding of this front part and how to stitch this front so guys part. this is it for the front part remember i told you earlier that this front one here this center one here we are cutting it on fold and we are making two pieces of this we are cutting out two pieces of this so as you can see this is on fold now i added half inch here for turning the neckline half inch here this half inch of the shoulder is to join the back and the front shoulder together now this half inch i have here is to join these two together as you can see i also have half inch here half inch on the shoulder and this half inch here is for the sleeve to join this to the sleeve so the allowance you have here it all depends on what you want can add two two and a half three it all depends on how much allowance you normally make use of now i have half inch here this is to join this to the damn part whether to a peplon as a blouse or to a skirt as a gown so our major concentration is on how to pad this upper part so guys the same way i cut this now i will use this fabric here the one that is already carrying all the seam allowances i will use it to cut the interfacing and the lining so this is the interface you can make use of any interfacing of your choice i'm using a paper stay for this because this is just for illustration purpose so if you're making for a client you can use a hair stay so this is it for the back remember we have already added all the necessary seam allowance on this um pattern so what you need to do is just to pick up this pattern here use it to cut the main fabric and the lining our major concentration is for the front but i just want to explain to you how you can join the back now once you have finished um cutting out your main fabric and the lining what you need to do is to use it to turn the two together so turn your main fabric and the lining right side facing each other and stitch now for the dart side there are two ways to do this you can decide to stitch the dart side on the fabric on the main fabric and the lining first before turning the lining and the main fabric together and you can also decide to turn the main fabric and the lining together first and pick the both of them the two darts and stitch so it all depends on what you want but our major concentration on this class is on how to pad this um front part here now after cutting this out what i'll do is to remove the paint here i'll remove the paints then i'll trace out i'll show you how to trace out the volume of the wording you need to for the padding of this front part here and also do not forget to notch the under bust area it's very very important notch the under bust line please now to cut out the amount um the volume of wording needed for this this is the chest line, so I've gone ahead to extend it to this place. Now, what I will do is to go up from this chest line by 2 inches. So, I'll match this up here. This is it here. So, I'll connect this straight here. Now, what I also do is um to come here. My boss um, span is uh, 8 inches. 8 divided by 2 will give me 4 here. So I'll add half inch to it. That will be 4 and a half. Now from there, from here, I'll connect to this place and to this um, under bust. So this is it. Now for this part, I'll just rule a straight line here. So I'll be tracing from this line here, from this new line to the whole of this um, underbust line here. So I'll trace the whole of these out. Now also trace here out. 
Now to trace this, I place a fresh and pattern paper underneath this. Then I'll come in with my tracing wheel and trace what I have here from here all the way to this place here and from here round. After tracing, I'll remove these and make the markings visible. So after tracing, this is what I have. This is for this part here and this is for this part. Now I'll take this and I'll use this to cut out the wording. So while cutting out the wording, I'll add half inch on the sides here for joining. I'll cut two pieces of this and I'll cut here on fold. I hope you understand. This is the wording here with the joining allowance on this part here and also on this part here. You can see the joining allowance. Now what I'll do is to pick this up, the interfacing, and I will iron all of them together and show you. So guys, it's time for us to start joining. Remember when I told you to always notch the underboss? So the reason is because before we join, we have to make sure that the two underboss are meeting up. So... That is just the most important thing in this. Please make sure to always match your underboss. If you miss this part here, you will not have a very good curve around your bust area. So I will make sure that these two notches here are meeting up, right side facing each other like this. Making sure that the two notches are matching up, then I'll start stitching with half an inch seam allowance. Now, if it will take you to mark out your half inch before stitching this, please do it. The most important thing is for you to get a good finishing. So if you cannot trace it all by yourself, please make a mark there and follow the line while sewing. So this is what I mean. As you can see, I've made my half inch mark here. So I'll start tracing the line as I sew. Then you start stitching. So at every point, in, you arrange it. You can see that I'm following the line that I made. After joining this part, I will also pick up the other part here. Face it right side facing each other. Do not forget to pin the underboss. Make sure the two notches are matching. Pin it down, then start sewing. So I'm just following the lines. Now, one thing you should notice that, please, why so you make sure this one here, the one below, is always relaxed. So just take this one and position it well with it. Make sure this one is not squeezed, it's always relaxed, please. And you can see because we close them the shoulder that before drafting the shoulder slant you can see that these two here are matching up no one is longer than the other so when i get here i'll just bar stitch so you can see it now i remove the pin i have here after joining what i'll do is to notch the underboss area first then give all these parts a notch. After notching, I'll take this to my ironing table and open press. I will open press the seams and show you what we have. So guys, after ironing, this is what we have. And when I measure my boss point, you can see that I still have my 8 inches intact. Thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to drop your questions. And if you're yet to subscribe to this channel, please subscribe, like, share, and comment on our videos. I'll see you in my next class. Bye for now.